Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Saturday, the uh, Saturday the 24th week in Ordinary Time. And uh, our gospel today is a very familiar parable. Jesus is uh, talking about this parable, He's letting the disciples understand what the kingdom of heaven being like, uh, a man who sowed seeds all along and some seed fell on rocky soil some seed fell on good soil and uh you know it's just the um the idea that the seed is grace and it's sown hither and yon god's grace flows down on us all and at one point or another in our lives we've been the form of all of the different soils that are represented in this parable today. Sometimes we understand God's word and and then we get distracted and busy and then forget about it. Sometimes uh, we don't even listen to it at all. It just uh, it comes and goes in one ear and out the other. But then there are times in our lives when we hear God's word and it sinks in and it bears fruit, it grows within us and enriches our lives. So my friends, today let us try to prepare ourselves, the soil, prepare ourselves to be filled with God's grace. Let us get rid of all of the rocks and the weeds and the thorns and allow God to enter into us and nurture our lives and let his presence grow within us. Let us become that, that good soil so that God's grace can multiply in our lives. Let us pray our evening prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. I have called to you, Lord, hasten to help me. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer arise before you like incense. the raising of my hands like an evening oblation. Set, O Lord, a guard over my mouth. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Do not turn my heart to things that are wrong, to evil deeds with men who are sinners. Never allow me to share in their feasting. If a good man strikes or reproves, reproves me, it is kindness. But let the oil of the wicked not anoint my head. Let my prayer be ever against their malice. Their princes were thrown down by the side of the rock. Then they understood that my words were kind. As a millstone is shattered to pieces on the ground, so their bones were strewn at the mouth of the grave. To you, Lord, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge, spare my soul. From the trap they have laid for, for me, keep me safe. Keep me from the snares of those who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, from the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is worthy of all praise. Let our prayer come like incense before you. May the lifting up of our hands be as an evening sacrifice, acceptable to you, Lord our God. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. With all my voice I cry to the Lord. With all my voice I entreat the Lord. I pour out my trouble before him. I tell him all my distress. While my spirit faints within me, but you, O Lord, know my path. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see there is not one who takes my part. 
I have no means of escape, <coughs> not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I have said you are my refuge. All I have left in the land of the living, listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble because of your goodness to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, we humbly ask for your goodness. May you help us to hope in you, and give us a share with your chosen ones in the land of the living. You are my refuge, Lord. You are all that I desire in life. The Lord humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. Reading from the letter to the Romans. How deep are the riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God! How inscrutable his judgments, how unsearchable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor? Who has given him anything so as to deserve return? For from him and through him and for him all things are. To him be glory forever. Amen. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. We praise the wisdom which wrought them all as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Go into my vineyard, and I will pay you a just wage. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Go into my vineyard, and I will pay you a just wage. We give glory to the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and in our weakness we pray, Lord, be with your people. Holy Lord, Father, all-powerful, let justice spring up on the earth. Then your people will dwell in the beauty of peace. Lord, be with your people. Let every nation come into your kingdom, so that all peoples will be saved. Lord, be with your people. 
Let married couples live in your peace and grow in mutual love. Lord, be with your people. Reward all who have done good to us, Lord, and grant them eternal life. Lord, be with your people. Look with compassion on victims of hatred and war. Grant them heavenly peace. Lord, be with your people. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Jesus himself taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, guide us as you guide creation according to your law of love. May we love one another and reach perfection in the eternal life prepared for us. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night and have a blessed Sunday tomorrow, and I'll see you then.